Hey guys, it's me Alicia and I am back and I'm finally doing my maximum hydration method. I'm going to start off with the Cherry Lola treatment. This is what you're going to need. You're going to need apple cider vinegar, liquid soy aminos, Greek plain yogurt, unsulfured dark molasses, raw honey, baking soda, an overripe banana, an avocado, and an egg. You're also going to need one large bowl, a measuring cup, measuring utensils, as well as a spatula if you have it. I'm going to start off with my conditioning agent, which is my Greek plain yogurt. I'm using non-fat yogurt. You can use full fat if you like. I'm going to take two cups of that and add that to my bowl. Again, this is your conditioning agent. Next, I'm going to be using two tablespoons of my raw apple cider vinegar. This serves a purpose for clarifying your hair and removing product buildup. Next, I'm using my liquid soy aminos. You can find this on Amazon. I'll leave a link. Um, I'm going to add two tablespoons of that, and this is just a protein agent. It's going to help with keeping your hair very strong. Next up is my raw honey. You're going to want to add in a half a tablespoon of that. If you do have regular honey, you can use that, but I do find that raw honey has a better nutrient value. You see all that bee pollen? That's going to really help with attracting moisture to your hair. So raw honey is a great choice. And next, I'm going to add in my baking soda. I'm adding in two tablespoons of that. This is what actually helps with lifting the cuticle temporarily. So for all my low porosity girls, this is going to help with absorbing product better. And for my high porosity girls, this really shouldn't do anything to your hair. So you can still add it if you like. And next, I'm adding in my dark unsulfured molasses. I'm going to add in one tablespoon of that. And this is just another protein agent. So make sure you guys do add that in. And this is the way your product should look like. Go ahead and give that a good stir. However, be very careful if you did add in your apple cider vinegar and the baking soda because you do know that it will react and it will grow and expand. And for me, it actually kind of like overflowed. So you definitely want to be careful at this point and use a large enough bowl. But now I'm going to be using my blender. Okay, you want this consistency to be nice and creamy. You don't want any chunks in it. Okay, so use your blender. And at this point, you can add in half of your your overripe banana as well as half an avocado. This again is um, supposed to attract more shine to your hair and more protein and you also need one egg. So add that in there, turn on your blender and I allow mine to blend for about five minutes. You really want this to be nice and creamy and not too thick. So I've been blending in these ingredients for about five minutes and this is the consistency you want to look for. As you guys can see, it's very creamy. It's not very, very thick. It's almost like a baby food consistency, very smooth and creamy, okay? And if you have as much hair as I do, this is definitely more than enough. If your hair is much shorter than mine, then you might want to cut the recipe in half because this makes a lot. But now I'm just going to go ahead and section off my hair. Just looking at my hair, you guys can tell that I'm in dire need of hydration, moisturization, everything. I do live in the desert and it's just been very rough for me. I'm still getting to know my hair now. Um, it's just been very, very rough, okay? I do want to say that this recipe is more formulated for the lower porosity sides. Um, basing my hair and how it's been reacting lately, I will say it's more on the higher, more porous side of things, okay? So, um, you can definitely do this if your hair is on the higher porosity side, okay? But I'm going to take a nice dollop size amount and start to apply it to the section. Um, just FYI, this product does not smell bad at all. To me, it actually smells like a frappuccino, okay? 
but yeah I'm just applying <laughs> the cherry Lola caramel treatment throughout the section and one way you can tell what your porosity is is just how quickly your hair absorbs the product just judging my hair almost instantly my hair was just soaking it in you can see my my hair go from dry and very limp and almost stringy to extremely define <laughs> like right before my eyes I was blown away just how quick this product worked with my hair again you guys I'm not used to my hair looking defined at all it usually looks kind of curly kind of undefined but stringy for the most part and as you guys can see almost instantly it started to clump up all right but if your hair is lower porosity it might take you a little longer to see results okay so I'm going to apply this all over my head and I'm going to allow this treatment to sit on my hair for about an hour to an hour and a half to two hours just based on how well your hair absorbs okay so lower porosity girls let it sit on your hair for about two hours I let mine sit on my hair for an hour and a half under a plastic cap and then I'm going to come back and do a deep conditioning treatment so yeah I'll show you guys what I do next all right It's been again about an hour and a half and I rinsed my hair out with warm water and this is the way my hair is looking like as you guys can see it's very clumped and I'm really excited about this whole procedure on my hair because I've never really seen my hair so defined like this so um, yeah this is the way your hair should be looking like and you want to follow this up with an overnight deep conditioning treatment because the cherry Lola caramel treatment can definitely be somewhat stripping of the hair or drying of the hair so you definitely want to put that moisture back in so I'm using my Cantu um, deep conditioning treatment to my hair you can use whatever deep conditioner you have I would just refrain from using anything that is extremely protein rich because the cherry lola treatment was your protein base so you really don't need any more okay so again I'm using my Cantu shea butter deep conditioning treatment and applying it to my hair and I'm just going to apply a shower cap or a plastic bag and pretty much call it a night this is really going to help with softening the hair and whatnot and we can definitely start the maximum hydration method tomorrow so definitely see what I do next and yeah stay tuned <music> Okay, so it's the very next morning, and this is the way my hair is looking like before rinsing out the deep conditioning treatment. As you guys can see, my hair is filled with all these coils and ringlets and curls that I've never seen in my entire existence of being natural. Okay, so definitely if you're one of those people who don't believe you have a curl type, Try this method because this does something to your hair to bring out your natural curl type and it is not a chemical whatsoever, okay? All natural products. But yeah, this is the way my hair is looking like after rinsing out the conditioner. As you guys can see, there is my curl pattern. And yes, definitely give this video a like if you'd like to see the entire hydration method. It is a long process, but it's well worth it, okay? I did record it and you guys can see how my hair was coming together throughout the days. So definitely give this video a like if you like to see that as well if you tried this process before let me know your experiences I am so curious okay but again let me know what you guys think of my progress and I will catch you guys a little later okay bye guys